Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Trying to fully understand or explain Facebook is a formidable task. How can I find an appropriate metaphor that illustrates the point? How about this? Explaining Facebook to someone who has never seen or heard of it before is like trying to nail jello to a tree. You've got good intentions, but your efforts are likely to fall apart. Perhaps I can reach a bit further back into history to find a better example. Few historical figures have been better at finding the right words than Winston Churchill. Although the great Churchill was not speaking of Facebook, or even had a clue that it would one day exist, one of his most famous quotes applies here. To borrow his words, Facebook is, quote, a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. In other words, it is so dense and secretive that it can be indecipherable. Churchill was speaking in 1939 about Russia and its intentions going forward as the world continued its march toward war. But three generations later, his words still resonate when applied to the mysterious, enigmatic riddle that is Facebook. Is it a force for good? Well, undeniably it is. Facebook has done more to help keep families together and in touch than Hallmark. You post a comment or a photo on your Facebook page, your cousin reacts with a like, and everybody's happy. Facebook even tells us when a friend or relative is having a birthday. Even if you forgot, and there's no time to go out and buy a card and send it to the birthday boy or girl, Facebook saves your bacon. But somewhere along the line, Facebook became something less benign and something potentially dangerous and, at the very least, expensive. I don't know how many times I've posted a comment about a service or product, and my comment almost instantly generates posts from advertisers pushing that very product. I remember posting once about gaining some pandemic pounds and joking about needing a new belt. Minutes later, I received one post touting a weight loss plan and another offering me what it called the world's finest belt. A nuisance, sure, but not a crime. Far more dangerous is the sudden Facebook hello from a stranger who finds my profile appealing and wants to be my friend. Thankfully, I'm smart enough to ignore what will surely be a ploy for money at some point. Anonymity is another big downside of Facebook. Join a Facebook group at your own peril because there are people hiding behind clever screen names waiting to call you horrible things for having an opinion. Those are some of the obvious pitfalls of Facebook. Less obvious, perhaps, is the ease with which a written comment can be hurtful. You might tell a friend face-to-face, -face and even on the phone, that, quote, I'll believe that when I see it, and the smile and jocular tone make it clear you are kidding. Posted on Facebook, without emotional context, the same comment can produce totally unintended consequences. Emojis can only do so much. The point is this. Facebook can be an instrument of good, but it is also a metaphorical minefield filled with risks that can be devastating. Be careful where you step. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.